Okay, so I'm standing here with my friend Roberto Guerrero, who is very famous race dr driver. Uh, and Roberto and I met uh, a few years back at a Jaguar a race event that we were having down in San Diego, and we got to know each other. Anyway, it's just great to run into it. Thank India. you. It's, it's, nice my, it's my pleasure. My pleasure seeing you. Thank you. So here we are at the ja Pebble Beach, and this is the Jaguar. Uh, uh, and so earlier we were talking to Norman Dewis, and Roberto knows probably more about this car than I do, so he's going to tell us a little bit about this very, very famous Jaguar. Yeah, thank you. The, this is the one and only XJ13, and, and this car was actually built for the 1966, 1966 uh, Le Mans. And believe it or not, it was they developed a, a whole brand new uh, V12 as a 4.8 liter, and uh, and unfortunately when it, when it came time close to the race, they actually changed the regulations that the maximum capacity was only three and a half liter. I remember that's a 4.8. So the car ne was never actually allowed to race. And, uh, uh, you know, David Hobbs was doing, he was driving for the GT40s that year. So he actually did a lot of testing with it. And the car was very, very competitive with the GT40s, uh, but it never raced. And, and then the car actually was stored for nine years after that. In 75, they brought it back out for a, for a photo shoot, and it was Norm who was doing the, the testing, obviously it was. And after the photo shoot, they said, oh, why don't you take it out for a couple of hot laps? Right. And when he did that, you know, uh, the wheels are obviously magnesium, and when, when magnesium sits for a long time, it gets kind of brittle. Uh, story short, the right rear wheel broke in the magnesium and he had a really bad accident. Oh, I didn't know that that was the cause. That was, that was the cause. It was the rear wheel, uh, the magnesium broke, and, and there was. And, I mean, Norm was very lucky to come out of that he was, one okay. He was. And, uh, and the car itself actually was, you know, when you see the pictures, it looked really bad. and all the, uh, But the main chassis, the main structure of the car actually wasn't damaged. So the person that had built the car originally was able to restore it and that's how it ended up being and that's why it's so valuable that it's just the one and only you know engine everything developed and actually from that engine it was kind of like the birth of the of the 12 liter uh, you know Jaguar 12 liter and uh, uh, you know the V12 and from then on those engines did go on to win uh, a few a few races quite a so, few actually uh -huh, yeah. And this, this is the only one in the world. The and isn't one. it stunning? Now, where does this car reside? Is it part of the trust or? Uh... Yes, it, it still lives in Coventry in England and in the museums. And uh, the last time that it had been here in the US was actually 2001. And they brought it for the Jaguar 75th uh, year anniversary. And, uh, you know, they, they, we actually had, you know, with Jaguar, we have uh, what we call the R Performance Academy. Right. And uh, we had the last one in, uh, in Fontana a couple of weeks ago. And we actually had the uh, XJ9 and the XJ13 that we would, in, at lunchtime, we would, we would run, run them up and down the track uh, doing demonstrations for the... Uh, for our uh, XJ customers, so it, uh, it's a great car. How's it run? It runs really well. It sounds beautiful when you hear it go by. It sounds absolutely beautiful. There's something about yeah. the note that those 12, those 12 yeah, cylinder Jags hit. That's just it's it's. Uh, it, it's stunning how stunning. the noise is, is is beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you very All much, right. Roberto. Good pleasure. to see you. Thank yeah. you. You Good too. You thank you. You bet. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So that's 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 the history of the XJ13. This is pretty pretty amazing, huh?